everyone welcome back to my channel this is shalini with you several phenomena of celestial bodies like motion of planet around the sun motion of moon around the earth the tides due to sun and the moon are successfully explained by universal law of gravitation so this video is about the force that binds different objects together in the universe and also few numericals based on it let's get started It is seen that a falling apple is attracted towards the earth. Does the apple attract the earth? If so, we do not see earth moving towards the apple. Why? According to Newton's third law of motion, the apple does attract the earth. But according to Newton's second law of motion, we know that for a given force, acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. We know that F is equal to m a. so acceleration will be equal to f by m so acceleration and mass are inversely proportional so the mass of the apple is negligibly small when compared to that of the earth so we do not see the earth moving towards the apple now what is universal law of gravitation according to this law every object in the universe attract every other object with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them now we are going to see the mathematical formulation of universal law of gravitation for that we consider two bodies a and b of mass m1 and m2 separated by a distance d So according to universal law of gravitation force is directly proportional to product of their mass so i can take it as m1 m2 and it is also inversely proportional to square of the distance between them so when i combine these two equation i can write f is proportional to m1 m2 by d square so in order to change the proportionality i can multiply by a constant and that is capital g g1 g m1 m2 by d square and this g is called the universal gravitation constant and the value of universal gravitation constant is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square and the value of G is found by the English scientist Henry Cavendish using the sensitive balance. What happens to the force between two objects if mass of one object is double and the second one is the distance between the two objects is reduced to half? so we know the expression for force which is f equal to g m1 m2 by d square the first condition is mass of one of the object is double let us take m1 equal to 2 m1 now what will happen to the force let us give it as f dash is equal to g into m1 m instead of m1 you can write 2 m1 m2 divided by d square so this is 2 times g m1 m2 by d square and we know that g m1 m2 by d square is f so this is equal to 2 times f we know that force is proportional to the mass so if one mass is double then the force also will be double now let's take the second case distance between the two objects is reduced to half that means d equal to d by 2 so what will happen to our uh, force f dash is equal to g into m1 m2 divided by d by 2 the whole square so it will become g m1 m2 by d square by 4 so for 4 will go to the numerator when you take the reciprocal so g m1 m2 divided by d square and you know g m1 m2 is by d square is f so it will become 4 times f and you know that force is inversely proportional to 
square of the distance when the distance is reduced to half we will get the force as four times so find the force of gravitational attraction between the earth and the planet of mars m mass of the earth is given mass of the planet is given then the distance between the earth and the planet is also given so to find out the gravitational force we will write f equal to g mass of the earth me mass of the planet divided by r em square now substitute the value g is universal gravitation constant which is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 mass of the earth is 6 into 10 raised to 24 and then mass of the and uh, mass of the planet is 10 raised to 22 divided by the distance between them is 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 the whole square now 6.67 into 6 we will take all the term with exponents to one side so 10 raised to minus 11 into 10 raised to 24 into 10 raised to 22 when you simplify 24 plus 22 will give you 46 minus 11 will give you 35 so this will reduce to 10 raised to minus sorry 35 divided by 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 the whole square means 3.84 into 3.84 into 10 raised to 8 the whole square and that is 10 raised to 8 into 2 is 16 and this is equal to now we can do the simplification and also we can apply the law of exponent 10 raised to 35 by 10 raised to 16 means it will be 10 raised to 35 minus 16 which is uh, 19 and then here we can cancel you will get 1.92 and when you simplify the remaining term you will get 2.71 and the unit is newton therefore the gravitational force between the earth and the planet is 2.71 into 10 raised to 19 newton right therefore the gravitational force between the earth and planet is 2.71 into 10 raised to 90 newton